Welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. Well, this is the second part of the video, and what I'm going to show you here is setting this 550 gallon tank and putting a grid powered AC 220 pump down there with some standoffs to hold it off the bottom of the tank. So let's take you along for this job. Well, here's part of the fun that you normally don't ever get to see is we have a six foot circle right here cut out just etched and we got to dig this whole thing down to about the level of that stream just a little bit up and this is kind of what you don't get to see is all this fun and good times and making videos and doing spring work well, here it is it's all dug out leveled off it'd be great to have about a thousand pound of small gravel but no big rocks in it here's the tank and believe it or not coming all the way down that hill i had to push it downhill and i had that rope tied to it thinking i was gonna have to a little bit off at a time but no i actually had to push that thing downhill so let me get this thing set in place and get the dump valve going and then we're going to go ahead and hook this inflow pipe in and let it start filling some water Okay, so to build this thing, I took a piece here about six, eight, six, eight inches longer than what the pump is. I just set this thing alongside the vice or alongside the rip fence on the saw. You could use a two by four or anything else on a flat table and drew a line so it would be straight all the way down the pipe. And then turned it about a third of it, drew another line all the way down. I cut four pieces of three inch pipe this is a real thin sewer pipe it's just what i had nothing special cut it four inches came in three quarters of an inch from either end no particular space and i just got to be able to get my hands in there to tighten it up drilled two holes match two, two matching holes right there let me put this on and show you what it'll look like so all i did put a piece don't doesn't matter but 18 inches long i cut it in half and then I cut strips out of it on the table saw. And what we're gonna have is two of them here, right here, two coming in the other end, and that way the pump will sit on it and give it spacing all the way around the pipe. Well, here it is, sitting here. This is how it'll be sitting in the bottom of the tank. And if you can see down in there, here's the two runners that the pump will then sit on. Of course, it'll come out here. This will be on the end. And you'll have the pipe wire, the pipe coming out here, the wire coming out down here, going up out through the top of the tank. You'll see that when we install it. This is a little bit bigger, and where the wire comes out, or where the uh, pipe comes out, we're gonna wrap it with uh, duct tape or something, or put another piece of pipe over it to keep it from rubbing and rubbing a hole but like i said this right here will not only keep the, the pump horizontal but it'll keep it up off the tank drawing any sediment in and like i said the manufacturers either say completely horizontal or vertical nothing in between because of the bearings well here it is here's this salamander looking like thing let me go ahead and show you how it's going to look with the pump sliding in it well, here it is with the pipe sliding in that thing and it's a tight fit so what we're going to do here this is a three quarter inch bulkhead fitting this drill a hole right here in the top of the tank this is going to come up from the bottom pump's going to hook on here and this will come out and i'll show you we'll have a 90 degree coming out from the top it'll make sense when i got it in and then we're going to drill a hole for a waterproof fitting for the belt or for the wire Here's what the tank looks like. Of course, the pump is in this tube, which is forced to suck to it to cool the motor down on the pipe. Of course, it comes up, it's got a check valve, but that's going to have to be replaced. This is the old stuff, because there is a pinhole in it, and that's got to be replaced yet. And of course, we've got a waterproof outlet with the wire coming out. And we have that three quarter bulkhead fitting. That is hooked to on the inside comes out here clamp this will be a pressure line going up to the house 
course this is the spring line coming in and we're still getting about two and a 2.2 gallons per minute flow and that is about 185 feet down from the spring head so minus all the friction loss and all that kind of good stuff uh 500 gallon tank here be filled up in 250 minutes so it's coming right on just since the time i've been here working on it it's already over 200 gallons now it's almost half full but did put the overflow in Right here's the overflow. It'll get up that high to about 525 gallons in overflow. And we want to have it so it pours in here at the very top, disturbs the surface and goes across for wintertime freezing. This weekend, I guess, when Nona gets here, we're going to talk about putting some poles down, putting four of them here, and build a roof over this thing. Not really to protect it, but really to protect it from fallen limbs and everything else that may pop a hole in it if you go up and down here this one here has been mashed apart this old concrete one that one there's been caved in another one's been caved in that are concrete so plastic won't hold up with wood or with the trees falling down on it oh of course all this here will get back filled with all that top dirt when we figure out where the poles are going to go but here's the drain valve we left it out there we can cut it off wherever we want but we'll put a bucket over top of it and rock on top and we'll be able to reach in turn it if you want to clean the tank out and drain it down but that's it and then we're gonna reroute when it gets the line all fixed up from there straight up the hill to where it comes down from right there about where that sunshine is it's gonna get dug and buried all the way down here sometime when we find all the leaks in it well i got to apologize i really didn't record an ending for this thing so i'm gonna kind of make you seasick watching this tank jump back and forth into view but this is how i go ahead and put a this is an existing 220 deep well pump set down in that cistern and built that thing i call salamander it's just a piece of pvc pipe the pump fits in to hold it up off the bottom of the tank one it won't draw sediment two you need to put a pump like that in a tube it's made for the water to be drawn like up the well past the motor into the pump so what that does is it keeps the motor cool believe it or not just sitting in that tank running a whole lot if you were like to fill a pool or something with it you'd actually over you can overheat the motor they're actually made to have water drawn across that pump motor to keep it cool so that's why you kind of put it in a pipe. It's nice to go ahead and jack it up off the bottom of the tank. Keep sediment from getting in. But as usual, anything I can help you with or questions or answers or consulting work, like I said, we do this for a living. Don't hesitate to ask, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.